All right, so in this video, we're going to multiply a decimal times a decimal. So the first thing you're going to do is start in our uh, tenth spot, so 0.3. We're going to multiply 3 times 3 gives us 9. 3 times 6, which is 18, so we'll put down our 8. We're going to carry that 1. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4. So we did our three spot. We're going to be done with him, but we need to hold his place. So we're going to bring down a zero to hold his place. Now we have our uh, two here. Two times three is six. Two times six is going to be 12. We'll put our two, we're going to carry our one. Two times one is two, plus one is three. From here, we're going to uh, add up our two products. Nine plus zero is not, oops, sorry about that, is nine. 8 and 6 is 14. Carrier 1, 2, 4, and 1 is 7. And bring down our 3. Now we got to figure out how many decimal spots to move. In our first number here, we have one spot for our decimal. In our second number, we have one spot for our decimal. So total, we have two spots for our decimal. That means in our answer, we're going to move over two spots. There's our answer, 37.49. Um, if you wanted to do this in the box method, do it right here. You're going to break it down into your different numbers. So our first number is 16.3. So we're going to have a 10. We're going to have a 6. We're going to have 0.3. Over here, we're going to have a 2. And we're going to have a 0.3. In our first box, we're multiplying 2 times 10 gives us 20. Our second box, we're multiplying 6 times 2 gives us 12. Our third box, we're multiplying 2 times 0.3. You're going to pretend that decimal point does not exist for this, or this part of the problem, which gives us 6. Now we're going to add in our decimal point. If it is one spot in our question, then it's one spot in our answer. The next one, we're going to do 0.3 times 10. First part, we're going to pretend that decimal doesn't exist. So 3 times 10 gives us 30. Now we're going to bring back in our decimal spots. We have move over 1, so we're going to move 1 over. Gives us 3.0. Our next question, we're doing 0.3 times 6. Pretend that decimal doesn't exist at first. That gives us 18. Now we're going to bring back in our decimal. We have one spot. We're moving over once. Lastly, we're going to do 0 0.3 times 0 0.3. Pretend that decimal doesn't exist. We're going to get 9. Now we're going to count our decimal places. Over 1 here and over 1 here. So we're going to add our decimal and annex or add a 0. At this point, you're going to add all the numbers in the boxes. So you're going to add. So we are going to add, I'm going to type this just because my writing on here is not so great. So we're going to do 20 plus 12 plus 0.6 plus 3.0 plus 1.8 plus 0.9. And when you add them all up, you are going to get your answer of 37.49. When you're adding with decimals, make sure you line up your decimal. When you're multiplying with decimals, you do not need to line them up. 